ketchup. Today I'm gonna be making a little ketchup and mustard cake. Why I'm doing this, I don't know. Is this all I need? I don't know. Whatever, we'll just see. So, a ketchup and mustard cake. Now you may be asking, why, why, why? There's two main reasons why I want to do a ketchup cake, okay? The first reason, I am home alone and I am bored. Now the second reason of why I want to do a ketchup cake specifically is because whenever I think of ketchup, I don't have any sort of reaction. I appreciate the simplicity, but it's still, it's like, what, what are you doing? So maybe if I put ketchup in cake form, maybe then I'm gonna appreciate its true potential. I don't know what to say about ketchup, you know? it's. So, Impress me, ketchup. You gotta show me something today. Small problem is that I never really made a cake before. So for that reason, it may be very difficult for me to make an amazing ketchup cake, but it's fine. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. I'm gonna be following a YouTube video. Basically how I learned everything. I'm gonna be taking instructions from this lovely lady. Her name's Jan. Hi, everybody. This is Jan from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio.com. And she's gonna teach us how to make a ketchup cake. You know, she looks very professional. She's got one of those, like, uh, fancy red mixers. So preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Grease your 9-inch round baking pans. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. We gotta grease some stuff and we gotta preheat some stuff. Also, I have this cooking spray, which I just used to spray my pans. Now that is pretty satisfying. I'm not sure how much I need to put. So to make the ketchup cake, the dry ingredients that you're going to need are two cups of all-purpose flour. Oh, I gotta measure out stuff. Well, that's how baking works. So my scale is uh, out of battery. I'm pretty sure, listen, I know everyone says baking is a precise art, but I'm pretty sure if I just look and assess with my human eye, that's how my grandma did it. Pretty sure I can do it. All right, let's see. So I got my flour here. I hope this is kind of half of what she has. Baking soda. I mean, she put like a bit. Oh. Baking powder and eh, you know, who cares? Baking powder and the spices, which I, I frankly think I can freestyle because uh, there's cinnamon here. I love me some cinnamon. I'm going to put a, oh, a lot of cinnamon because I love it. There's also nutmeg. So you just want to mix them together. I came prepared. I have a little whisk and I have a big whisk. And I think this is a little whisk situation, you know? Sometimes uh, you don't have to use the big, the big whisk, especially uh, in the beginning. You know what I mean? All right, everything uh, seems very nice here. Let me show you. All right, bring on the wet ingredients. Let's see. We're going to combine our half a cup of ketchup. Ooh. Oh, okay. Well, this is when it gets spicy. This is where uh, our boy ketchup is gonna come into play. I got Heinz ketchup. You know, only the best for my uh, for my channel. So let's see. Get to work. All right. Wait, wait, wait. How much? You know what? <laughs> this is a ketchup cake. We're not here to play around. You know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it. Our half a cup of water. Ugh, water. Okay, that doesn't sound very nice. Oh, okay, that's, oh, what the heck, that's pretty disgusting, that's a, that's a bad consistency, I'm sorry. That's just not pleasant. And our two tablespoons of red food dye. All right, we got ourselves some food dye. She's using quite a bit, to be honest, like, I'm just gonna go for it again. It looks really red, it looks like movie fake blood. Look at this intense color. Okay, uh, we're done with this, let's see what the next step is. stand mixer well I don't if not you can just use the handheld mixers listen the only mixer I truly need is my big whisk so you're gonna put your three-quarter cup of butter you know just plop it in there that's a lot of butter Ugh. we're not holding back tonight folks we're making ketchup cake get it going all right let's go for it going to mix it with the brown sugar. Listen, uh, lady, I appreciate your recipe, but I just have to say your brown sugar doesn't look brown at all. As a matter of fact, it looks yellow. Anyways, I don't have brown sugar, I have regular sugar. That is a lot of sugar. Oh my god. 
How, how do you eat that much sugar and not die? I'm just gonna, you know... Uh... Mix that up. Literally all the contents of this bowl are contained within this whisk. This is raw power. It kind of looks like a, a, like a twisted cottage cheese. Mmm. Tastes like butter with a lot of sugar. Now let's go with one egg. I just hope it's enough. Mix this boy in. And then I'm going to add both my flour mixture and my ketchup water mixture. All right, so now it's time to add our previous mixtures uh, inside this big mixture. It truly is starting to look like something. This is the part where I don't understand how this can be good. It just looks very unnatural. Uh, what? Okay, so I know there's ketchup here, but my nose is still surprised that it smells like ketchup because I'm smelling cake batter. All right, then the rest of my flour and then the rest of my ketchup goes in. All right. It doesn't look red at all. Like, look at hers, and then look at mine. Like, I wanna make this red. It's supposed to be red, come on. I'm just gonna use more ketchup then. So once your batter is fully mixed, what you're going to do is divide the batter equally into your greased nine inch round cake pans. So we got our little uh, pan boys, and I'm gonna load them up with this, uh, this nice batter. Well, you know, it's really not, it's, it's not that good, guys. It's just, ah, I'm messing up. I look at hers and it, it looks like the reddest red ever. Now look at mine, it just looks like, it looks like salmon. It's a salmon cake. Well, this is just a bit of a disaster. You see these? They're gonna go in my oven for 30 minutes and uh, let's see what comes out of that. I've let the cakes in for 30 minutes and I let them cool for a bit because they're pretty hot and uh, let me show you, I mean, I'm pretty proud of them. So I gotta be careful here not to drop them. This is what they look like. Uh, this left one here is a bit broken. I think this has potential for sure. So we let them cool for a bit more. I'm going to make my frosting. So in this video, she only uses a cream cheese, normal like frosting that she would use in a red velvet cake. But I'm like, now we need something more. If we're making a ketchup cake, we need to honor the cake with a proper frosting, okay? So what I'm gonna do is make a mustard frosting. Mustard and ketchup? What can go wrong? So I'll just, uh, I'll just kind of mix everything up with this rubber spatula. How much of this do I need? I mean, this looks like a, a good amount. Let me add my icing sugar. Ooh. Oh no, no, it's forming a cloud. Oh, it's a sugar cloud. I mean, you know, there's honey mustard, which is a slightly sweet, but it's not sweet in, in a dessert sense. I don't even know if this is gonna taste like dessert, to be honest. To be honest with you, I don't know what the heck I'm doing, ever. That kind of looks like frosting, doesn't it? The problem is at this point is that it tastes good. We cannot have that on this show. The good old yellow American mustard. Oh no, this is a mistake. Ah, oh, come on. I'm kind of excited because I enjoy these weird tastes that like you shouldn't eat. I wanted to bring you guys a bit closer because uh, it's my favorite time of the year. It's assembly time, it's cake assembly time. Our cakes feel very not Stable like um, it's fine. So let's just start with this one. I will just reverse this like this. Ooh, look at that Look at this so what she does is put a little bit of Frosting over here. This is kind of amazing. I'm just gonna spread it around. You know, I'm, I'm not even gonna look at that I'm just gonna just do what I think would taste good. It's okay. Look at this beauty of a cake the uh, layer. Whoa! Okay! All right, all right. And now uh, we will put some frosting on top of this too. So what do I just like? It's not very pretty, but I think that's mainly my, my uh, fault. <laughs> Is this what they do in professional environments? So I do have some sprinkly stuff. You know, just do this real quick. I feel like an artist. It looks very chaotic, 
but in a beautiful way. Which is probably, at this point, the best way to describe my life. I mean, it looks very yellow, it doesn't look ketchup-y at all, uh, only when you cut into it, but I will, I will do this. I'll try to be as chef-y as I can about this. Oh, no. Oh, there you go. That's what I wanted. That's what I need. There's only one thing left to do, and that is to taste it. Feels very interesting. I mean, it's really small. It's a, it's a small and sad slice, but it's a slice nonetheless. So, it's my first ever food YouTube creation. It's a ketchup and mustard cake. So let's see how it tastes. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I don't know how to describe this because you can feel the ketchup, you can feel the mustard, but I think because it is in a cake form, it just kind of works. So my best friend loves ketchup for some reason and I think he's gonna be pretty excited about this. Do you wanna come and taste the ketchup cake? Oh my God, yes yeah, sir, I'll come now. <laughs> so this is my friend Jimmy. Hey, and my friend Jimmy, for some reason, loves ketchup. Okay. Let's taste it. I guess I'm more. I'm a, to be honest, I want to throw up. So that's <laughs> bad, bro. bro, I cannot eat it, man. It's good. I promise you, it's not bad. I promise you. Oh, no! Oh. What? Oh! Are you serious? You look like you're struggling. Right? I am, and I actually like it. Like I will, I will take a no, bite. No, I genuinely think the taste is not bad, mm -hmm. right? It just, I cannot get over the fact that it has ketchup. Like, it's moist and I know it's ketchup. Yeah, it's good. So guys, it's my first recipe. It's a ketchup mustard cake and I'm proud of it. Uh, if you think you wanna give this a shot, feel free to. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.